Hello my dear friends, this is a Painty Cat. My name is Catherine and today I want to introduce to you demonstration tutorial full version without any speed up you can find following link below join me on Patreon and we will paint together this painting step by step with the comments about all color mixing about all tricks and tips that you will need to know to complete this painting by your own. This painting done with a gouache. Uh, this kind of paints have a very, very interesting, nice finishing effect. It's a soft pastel looking uh, and matte. Also, this tutorial can be done in acrylic, but I really, really recommend to you to choose gouache for it. It's looking so stylish. Today, this composition um, I want to create in a shabby chic style. That means we're painting antique sewing machine roses. We will use creamy colors, pink colors. And a final painting will look very cute, very comfy, I'd say, as this style looking in general. Here we're gonna have very interesting background. It's old wallpaper with the stripes and roses. So many details, right? When we have so detailed background, we're risking to get too much attention of viewer on it. But the main idea, yeah, it's in many details, but trust me, this background will fit perfectly in a final composition. Also, you can see I'm using mole stick. I already demonstrated before. It's kind of handy. It's helping to create very nice looking stripes. And it's time for flowers. I believe it's a roses. Just because of colors, it can be different flowers. This wallpaper have a prototype. So I can get all details from the real wallpapers. It's have flower ribbons you can see there is a flowers and a leaves uh, as soon as flower ribbons done I will use fork brush it's absolutely unique brush i love it i adore it i used it so many times in my tutorials you can check before uh, on a previous tutorial we were painting grass with it and here again we need it look three stripes in one go imagine i would need to paint it with just a single brush number zero so many time needed fork brush saving our time and by the way still for this tutorial we need at least two and a half an hour if you have an experience and more if you haven't so plan it smart uh, probably you will need to make a breaks between different different parts of tutorial really recommend it it's you know, just more mm, healthy for neck and our hands. Roses are done. And we can paint details and objects on a foreground. But look, many flowers, ribbons, everything on a background. But it's so soft, it's not contrasted at all. So... All details sitting on a background really well. As soon as we having so many flowers and interesting 
uh, design on a background, we have to create even more interesting details on a foreground and, of course, better contrast. So, sewing machine is almost black. I will describe all color mixing, but in general, I can tell you, please evade to use just a flat black, we don't need it, we, it's usually looking grayish in the end. To get, if you want to get deeper black, better to mix the a cobalt blue. It still will be a black, true, but it's gonna look deeper, but if you want to create more shabby look, better to use brown to mix it together with a black. Shabby means all items you can see here are not new, it's a shabby, a little bit scratchy, can be, but beautifully. It's a table also. You can find uh, this sketch also uh, on my Patreon. All sketches, now it's more than 100 already. You can get uh, with any level of subscriptions on a Patreon. You can just spend one dollar, yeah, true, and get all of them at once. Uh, about this tutorial, it's a special tutorial that I'm uh, filming once in a month for my roses. Uh, all other videos you can get just with a start level of subscriptions there, special ones. It's for my beautiful roses, so if you're interested in this tutorial or you have your own composition, you want to know how to paint it, subscribe as a rose. You can send me what you're interested in and I will do a special tutorial, again, it's once in a month, with material you're interested in, with the techniques you need to. So welcome, it's a special offer again for my roses on a Patreon. Painting in a shabby chic style was asking uh, one of my students wanted to know how to create uh, detailed backgrounds but do it correctly and also how to control um, consistency of gouache. Sometimes we have an issue, uh, if sketch really difficult to draw, we transfer it on a paper, but straight after first layer of paint placed, we totally lost all lines of sketch. What to do? How we need to paint? Um, gouache, also acrylic, uh, can have a different consistency, contains a different amount of water. You can look at wallpapers on a background, you can see color, you can see details, all those stripes and roses, but still all lines are visible. How to do it? Uh, we have to paint for start with a very liquid paint. It's very easy for acrylics and also it can be done for gouache, but this kind of paint it's just have a different finish look. Again, it's a matte. So if you have some details and you need to have sketch visible, Please do first layer with a very liquid gouache. So all lines are visible. Straight after you get all small 
details done with the first layer, you can go with a paint with better coverage. Same for sewing machine. Hopefully it's still visible for you, but I put those uh, black layer half transparent. So all pattern that I have on a sewing machine still visible for me. It's a tailoring tool here. I mean those uh, yellow color it. It's a tailoring ruler. Easy to paint, but so many brush strokes. That's why you will need more than two hours to complete all details here. Also here I use two different white. It's a titanium and it's a zinc. I had questioned many times what the difference between them. Difference in coverage. Zinc more uh, transparent mostly, but we don't need high coverage all the time. Only for tiny details usually, we really need nice coverage. I'd say sometimes we don't need it at all, <laughs> right? You can check on my channel, there is a tutorial about peonies. Uh, and there we have the same way to paint as I do now with uh, English roses here. First layer, it's a brick red. And next layer, we will deal with a zinc white. Why not titanium? Because we need half transparent white. If you will use titanium, please add more water than usual, because white has to be half transparent. Shape of petals very depends uh, on the shape of brush, of course, really. And again, if you have no experience before with the uh, flowers, I highly recommend to you go uh, for my peony tutorials and complete it first. And after, you can return to this tutorial. One stroke, one petal. Half transparent white, beautifully mixing. It's not over white. So flower still will have a volume and a nice color variations because it's mixing, it's a half transparent, so those beautiful pink still visible. If white have too good coverage, it can cover first layer completely and flowers can look too flat and white. We don't need it, so control the coverage. Let's complete all roses and the next step will be about leaves, all those beautiful roses leaves. It's so easy to paint when you can still see sketch lines. Just follow it. We paint first layer so transparent, so sketch nicely visible. Look how easy it's going. Leaves almost done. 
again it's not the clear green it's a mix green plus a little bit of cobalt blue can be or please mix the burnt umber plus white of course roses need to look pastel very soft leave Best contrast for sewing machine. Next step will be about details on a sewing machine. This is the center of our composition. So best contrast, best detailing go for it now probably you noticed uh, now i started to use my transparent plastic palette i really like it because it can give you ability to see color to see how it's gonna look on a work even before you placing color on a paper or a canvas very handy Especially for me, it's when first layer, first basic layer color already placed and uh, I'm not planning to cover it again. So I just don't want to you know, try anything uh, that I'm not sure in it uh, on a paper. We have here some tiny details, for example, this tailoring needles. I really, really like this kind of uh, brush. Brush I'm using for needles and very thin details. It's a one stroke one with a very, very extremely long Bristol synthetical brush. Uh, mine uh, by plate. And uh, you can paint so thin lines with it just perfect for needles and the next step all about pattern on a sewing machine i already told you first layer here kind of transparent even if it's a um, dark enough i can steal i can see through it and all lines of sketch visible for me so if you have a pattern that already was drawing uh, by pencil on a sketch uh, step it's so easy just to paint it all sketches you can find you can print it just on a usual print paper then you can cover sketch on the back side with a pencil and then transfer easily on a special paper it can be watercolor one it can be a textured one just be sure paper is really well have a good quality also it's very nice way to transfer uh, your drawings your sketches on a canvas Detailing is done. I'm just making it in a three steps. First, first layer when I'm just planning some shapes, some leaves, curves and lines. Next, when I'm placing better detailing with a lighter shade and the final one with a white. Here I recommend to use uh, as a last one uh, white, uh, better to pick up titanium white. Here I also in this tutorial I will share to you how to paint with a half dry paint. It's giving very nice effect. Also it's giving so good control on a paint because it's not a liquid again it's a half dry and you just need to rub a little bit with a brush 
and you can slightly tone areas that you want to. Some final steps, it's a metal part on sewing machine. It's a combination I recommend to use two kinds of uh, white. Zinc white giving more soft accents because zinc white usually more transparent. Titanium have better coverage. So all parts I want to see a really light white or blinks. I'm going with a titanium white or others with a zinc. Signing also thread using my mall stick again and my painting as done. Welcome on my Patreon, join me and paint with me together in actual speed with all comments and all tips and tricks I can share to you. This is some variations of framing for this painting and that's it for today. My friends, it was a painting cat. I wish you all the best. Bye-bye.